Today I'm gonna show you how to measure the latency of your camera, your monitor, your wireless video transmitter and even your iPhone. All you need is a digital stopwatch, the device you want to test and a second camera or smartphone. First you set up your camera so that you can see the displays of both devices. Here's how it works. This display shows the original image after it has been processed in camera, so naturally there will be some delay. To find out how much, we take a picture of both screens at the same time, as such. You then compare the difference between the last two digits of your stopwatch on both screens, which will give you your latency. So in this image we can see that the original stopwatch time is at 37 hundredth, whereas the image in the camera is only at about 32. This gives us a latency of approximately 0.05 seconds, or 50 milliseconds. And for your reference, the human blink of an eye is between 300 and 400 milliseconds. In the next image we have 0.7 on the stopwatch and about 0.1 on the camera. And in the last image we have 71 on the left and about 63 on the right. If we calculate the average of these three values, we find that our camera has a latency of about 60 milliseconds. Now let's do the same test after attaching an external monitor to the camera. This time we find an average latency of about 12 hundredths of a second or 120 milliseconds. And by deducting the latency value of the camera, we find that the monitor has a latency of also 60 milliseconds. And now let's have a look at our wireless video transmitter, which is claimed by the manufacturer to have zero latency. Well, let's find out. This time we find the values of 11, 12, 12 and it seems to have reduced if anything. So you can rightfully say that this wireless video transmitter actually has a latency of zero. So that's it, the combined latencies of all our three devices is about 120 milliseconds. So far that's just a number. Let's see what it looks and feel like in reality. As you can see, while it is noticeable, it is very minor. In my opinion, it will not disturb you in most types of shooting. And for our final test, let's find out what is the latency of my iPhone 6 Plus. And the result is quite surprising. So why don't you show me that you paid attention in the beginning of the video and post into the comment section what is the latency of the iPhone 6.